Greetings, comic friends. It is Wednesday, so it is time for TGIW. Thank God it is Wednesday, the best day of the week, the day for new comics. All right. Uh, as, as far as amount goes, it's a little more than it was last week, but it's still manageable. Let me tell you, last week, it was beautiful. I I was so happy with last week being small. I'm, I'm thinking about making more cuts <laughs> in order to get down there. I, I, I really need to think about how I want to invest my comic reading time and where I want to put it. Right now, I really, really want to put it towards just the old stuff that I have lying around. Uh, last week, because it was so light, I, I knocked the new stuff out. Uh, I read through uh, my collection of Forever People. I got through all 11 issues of Forever People, which, I mean, it's Silver Age stuff. It's a little, it's a little bit heavier. Uh, I read through the first two limited Deadpool series that I've had sitting around forever, uh, Circle Chase and his, his Volume 1 limited series. Uh, and I, and I, had, I had just some super fun uh, old horror books lying around. Uh, I read these three. I read four others. I read seven horror books. Uh, this, by the way, is like my favorite <laughs> horror cover of all time. Uh, the story that goes with this wasn't actually very good, but that cover is cool. Makes me want to get like a high grade copy of that and, and slab it. Uh, anyway, I, it was so nice to have that freedom and go back. So this week is a little bigger, uh, and I, I might do another pass through of cuts. I think it's going to get easier though, uh, even if I don't make cuts, because some limited series are getting finished, and I've I've decided to to not stop, but drastically cut down on limited series. As you'll notice here, I didn't get Beta Ray Bill this week, which was very difficult because it looks awesome. Uh, I didn't get the man thing, thing that started this week and it looks awesome. I didn't do it. I'm, 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 I'm resisting those sorts of things in order to, to budget my comic reading time and put the focus and get my enjoyment out where I want, where I want it to be. And right now, that's with the, the 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 most of the silver and bronze age stuff that I've I've had piling up for a while, uh, and I love it. I, I I want that to be the norm. All right, so I'm gonna start with uh, let's start with this. I, I picked up uh, the John Constantine Hellblazer number uh, volume two trade. Uh, all all of these Sam the the current Sandman universe things have been fantastic. I, I haven't not enjoyed any of them. Uh, and Hellblazer in particular. I love Hellblazer. Uh, I picked up the second print of Last Ronin number two. Uh, in, in, uh, Last Ronin number two, it's it's not like Last Ronin one where it's hard to get or anything like that. Um, but I just I really like this cover. My, my hope is that we're going to get um, covers like this for all four turtles. I would love to see something exactly like this so obviously you have Raphael, uh, one of Raphael's size. If we get a staff for Donnie and a katana for Leo, and I don't know, maybe in the end, maybe Mikey doesn't make it. We get a nunchuck for Mike. I, I don't know. Uh, I just really like this this cover. It was just the idea was simple. I thought it was beautiful, and in, in case we get more covers like that, I wanted to be able to have a set. The other history of the DC universe, number three, I believe, uh, book three. Yes, these have been really good. So it's. It's um, minority characters and just sort of their story and their journey to where they be how they became superheroes and why they were superheroes and some of the, 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 the adversities they face and things like that. So it looks like this is going to have, uh, I, I think this is Katana, I think. Uh, but yeah, they've, it's, it's been different. Um, they're, they're, they're pretty heavy reads. Um, sometimes there's some pros in there, uh, but they're, they're, I, I've been really enjoying it so far. Uh, I, I just, when I, when I, when I read these, I just have to make sure I set myself aside enough time to really sit down and enjoy it. It's not like one of your normal books, like, oh man, I got 10 minutes. Maybe I can just knock one of these out. Uh, it's something I, I have to make sure I dedicate at least, um, you know, a good 20, 25 minutes to just to kind of soak it all in. Uh, let's see where we want to go from here. Uh, Department of Truth. Yeah, it, it's it is in my top three se ongoing series right now. It's great. 
Uh, I did get both the A and B cover. Uh, I was considering not getting the B cover, but this is, <laughs> I don't know, it's too cool. The Whoever this lady ends up being with uh, a cow, you know, you see the UFO in the background, so presumably it's about, you know, UFO stealing cows. <clears throat> uh, I think that's the only variant I got this week. Getting better, getting better. Crossover five, crossover, crossover five. I, I'm I'm still really enjoying that issue uh, or that that series, and I I understand like it didn't take off as much as as as, as it was hyped up to be. I think it's as good as what the hype was, what the hype was. Uh, I think there are people out there that still really enjoy it, but but just not to that degree. I think it's great. Strange Adventures number nine. This is again, these some of these black label books in Tom King in particular. Not all your limited series have to be twelve issues. Sometimes you can get the entire story you want to get out in like six. Uh, just think about it. Think about it. Nuclear Nuclear Family Two. Uh, I really enjoyed the first issue of this, so I, I added it uh, and decided to go forward with it. I, I like period pieces, you know, so this is that, yeah, I really like Fallout, uh, the, the Fallout video game series, I, I love that series, and that sort of like, I don't know, the, 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 the 50s sort of nuclear age, and the style that goes along with that, so that, that book is, is good. Uh, Symbiote Spider-Man 5, it's a King and Black tie-in, um, but I, I get all the Symbiote Spider-Mans. Uh, as far as limited series goes, I'll always get Symbiote spider man I'll get all limited series Spider-Mans. I have to. Uh, I have sort of committed to that with my, my Spidey collection. So, um, you know, all Marvel has to do to make a bunch of money is come up, come out with a, a limited Spidey series where the first issue costs like a million dollars and I'll have to find a way to come up with a million dollars and give it to them. And then, then they've done well. The Union... Another limited series that's going to be uh, over. But again, this and, and you know the, the limited series that I that I've been getting, I've been enjoying them. It's not that they're bad. It's just that I there are better things for me to read with the amount of backstock that I have. If by some miracle I somehow get through my 10, 11 long boxes of stuff that needs to get read. Yeah, then I will pick up more like ongoing series because I'll have that time to devote to, to read to it. Right now, not only do I want to to knock that backlog out, I, I'm just I'm enjoying it more than um, a lot of modern stuff. And that, that doesn't say modern stuff is bad, right? You can like two things, but just to, just to different degrees. Uh, in similar U.S. Agent, it's been great. Uh, but it will be done, and that will be good. It's just one less thing that I'll have monthly, uh, and I hopefully won't replace it with anything. Witch Blood. Uh, and I've, been, I've been liking these vault joints, so I picked this up. Just a regular A cover. There were some variants. There were some ratios. I didn't get them. Uh, I, I, you know, for, for a good chunk there, I was just trying to get these variants and ratios and because the color the covers were really cool and just like, uh, I don't know, it might blow up, but I need to stop caring about that because it doesn't really matter because even if they do blow up, like I don't usually get rid of that sort of stuff. How do I get so out of focus? Get back in focus. Hi, I'm in focus. Uh, so I, I have no idea what it's about. Uh, you know, I, there's a lot of things I'm trying to get better at when it comes to buying comics. Less limited series, less variants. The one thing I have a hard time resisting still is a new number one. Uh, an indie number one. Especially when it's sort of like horror-ish. So, yeah. Baby steps. Ghost Rider 1, uh, King of Black Tie-In. This is a one-shot. So, I, you know, I've been enjoying the King of Black Tie-Ins, the ones I've gotten for the most part. So there are some stinkers out there. Uh, Gwenum versus Carnage was not good, uh, but I do love Ghost Rider, and um, seeing what he's doing during the King and Black event is worth one issue, I think. Batman Catwoman. This has been a fun series. This is number three, four. This is number four. 
Uh, I really like this Catwoman costume because it's it's you know it's 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 very Golden Age Batmany. So I th I thought that was really cool. Uh, whether or not it actually pertains to this issue or not, I don't know, but I liked it. Uh, and and I've, I've been enjoying that series so far. Uh, and last, Imperi uh, Superman versus Imperious Lex, Future State, mostly done. I think I mentioned during when the, the last big chunk of Future State came through, there were some stragglers. This might be the last one. I'm not sure. I'm okay with it. What I wasn't okay with was when I had a stack of Future State that was that thick every week. That was... We make mistakes. We have regrets. We move on. We get better. We learn. Uh, so, got that. Um, so the 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 week, you know, take out uh, take out the second print of Last Ronin two, take out the Department of Truth variant. As far as individual issues go, we're pretty good. Of course, there, we, we do have to count the uh, Hellblazer trade. Uh, I, I, I will try to... I, I, when I get trades, I, I try to get through those as well. Cause I don't I, Having a backlog of comics is bad enough with having a huge backlog of trades. And I, I do have a huge backlog of trades. Uh, well, not huge, but it's enough. Uh, so I, I try to keep up on the new ones just to make sure that it doesn't get too out of control. Uh, but that's that's it. That's that's. I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, a, a little bit thicker than last week because uh, I don't think I had a trade. Oh, I did have a trade. I had big girls. I got through that too. It was good. Uh, so yeah, we're not th that much worse off. Uh, but considering one, two. Let's do this. Let's do it this way. These are the ongoings I got. Only four ongoings. This is a one shot. These are all limiteds that will hopefully not be replaced. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting to manageable state. Uh, this one might be replaced. Again, a, a symbiote Spider-Man gets over, another symbiote Spider-Man starts, fine. If you want to count this as ongoing, because there always seems to be one of those out, fine. Uh, but over over half over half of what I got this week um, was limited stuff that will eventually be over and hopefully not replaced. Given my new rules, I am imposing upon myself. That's pretty good. I I, I can taste I can I can taste the Silver Age now. I can taste all the stuff I'm going to be reading soon. Uh, so. Yeah, that is it. Um, as always, thank you. Uh, comment, let me know what I missed. Sometimes I miss something. I'm looking to you, Travis. You're always very good at telling me what I messed up and missed. Uh, so let me know. Uh, or, or if there's something that just that you got that I didn't get that you thought was great that maybe I should look into. Uh, I, I, I love reading about those as well. So do that. Subscribe. Ring the notification, notification bell. Tell all your friends and family. Uh, all of that, and uh, of course, don't forget to make yours Titan. This video was brought to you by Titan Comic Pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.